that guy is Ian Anderson, Central Coast Disc Golf, and I am again joined by world champion Greg Barsby, and we're back out in Thailand, Greg. Hey, yes. So, round two of the Samoy Swine Classic. This round is held on an island off the coast of Koh Samoy called Koh Sam. Wow. It's, yeah, it's a private island or an uninhabited island. So, we had the entire place to ourselves, just a literal disc golf paradise. That's <laughs> so cool, man. I love it. And that, that is your league card uh, for round two. Yourself, Philo, Nico, and Casey Hainmeyer? Yeah, Hannah Mayer. I, I'm not sure how he says his last name, but yeah. uh, from uh, one of our friends up north in Canada. It was oh, nice. Uh, nice to play this round with him. Very cool. I guess we're looking at hole one, and where are you guys going? So we're playing on the beach. This hole is really cool. The basket is pretty close. Now you can see the water's maybe eight meters away from the basket at the time of the flyover. But depending on the tide, the OB line gets closer. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right, looks like you got the box. Remember what you're throwing? Yeah, I think that was a Firebird, just trying to make sure it stays left. But it was so windy, it uh, blew a little, a little too far left. Yeah. But not a bad shot. It's safe. I'll yep. take that to start. Yeah, you're, you're dry. It's like Philo. Well, the wind is ripping out there. Oh, it, it looks like he played his rock and it got up and away from him. Oh, my. Just a little nose up there, but. <laughs> that right right to left is uh, taking discs places, man. It's ripping. Look at Nico's shirt here. This oh, my. Nico playing a little more aggressive out over the water. Oh, yeah. This is good. Oh, yeah, just a little long into that bush. He'll have a tough stance from there. Okay. And then Casey up, last but not least, wearing a very appropriate shirt. Mm hmm. Uh, good hide on this shot from Casey. Look at that. Really good throw. There you go. Keeping it low out of the wind a little bit there. Not so much flight plate exposure. Philo's putting directly in the headwind now. Watch his disc, it turns around. I remember this. I was like, that was such a good putt. That's wow. crazy. How did he do that? How did he do that? It reminds me of that Feldberg putt. You ever seen that one, you know? I have. The other one uh, goes off the top of the basket and then back in. I've also, I saw Nico do that as well. Uh, one oh, yeah. time we were, we were in Pittsburgh and he had one that the wind blew back. Okay, so this is the very beginning of the <laughs> foot fault madness that ensued. Okay. Maybe, maybe a month later <laughs> where Nico called Ricky on a football. It all started from this. Yeah. Because Philo had an issue with Nico's stance there, and they kind of got into it a little bit. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think they'll kiss and make up. Oh, and Casey converts. Wow. A beautiful birdie there. Definitely. Getting a stroke on you guys. And you can see the water is right there, a couple meters. Yeah, if oh, that, right? <laughs> yeah, there it is, getting about three feet from the basket. Philo's got to look out. He's going to get hit with the whitewash there. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened with uh, with Nico's stance there? Like, did he have to take a to get a warning or a penalty stroke? Or I think I think Philo gave him a warning. There was some words exchanged, uh, a, a long engagement. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. But um, I think Nico just took a seat and just tried to shove his foot behind it. And, you know, he was real close to the basket, but no putt from under there. But, gotcha. Yeah. All right, hole two, just right there. Yeah. Yeah, hole two uh, looks right there in the flyover, and the day that we played out here, you can see the trees. The wind is just whipping left to right here. We're going back the opposite direction of hole one. Casey with another nice shot there. It's yeah, like a mid-range of sorts. Yeah, that'll play. Looks, it looks like you'll be up next. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh, nice little tree stop there. I believe oh, I yeah. threw a, a rock there. That was a rare rock sighting for me. Yeah, I was going to say, don't see that too often. No. Philo playing his rock, obviously a staple in his bag. Yep. But, um, good play there. He didn't expose the edge of the disc at all. Yeah. And that left or right is doing things. Boy, look uh -oh. at that. Yeah, it just pulled it over. As soon as the, the lip is exposed, the wind just grabs it, takes Wild. it to the right. Nico going with the wizard here, playing a nice easy layup. Yeah, smart into that crazy headwind. Philo from maybe 27 feet. And it looks like the wind just pushed it to the right. Man, that's a scary putt in that wind. Every putt was so hard out here, but 
Casey's making it look easy. Wow, I guess you just gotta put them close and drill it home. Woo! Yeah, you got this one right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. yeah, the nose, the nose down putt into the headwind always a very uh, tricky, tricky situation. <laughs> At least you know it's not gonna blow over the basket. Oh, oh, Philo. oh no! Oh, he just the wind just beat his putter down there. That was a good putt. Yeah. Kind of what you were talking about though, that nose down. Uh, you know, he puts he puts with uh, classic AVR, so he, his his putt goes so straight. He just has that nice little bit of either very flat or like just a touch and nose up, and he gets that perfect float. But when you have when you have a headwind like that, you can't really put it with any nose up. So he probably went to the as flat as possible, and then it just kind of beat it down. Wild man, uh, what's the plan here on hole three, G? Um. It just looks so much different in these flyovers. I just remember this hole being, uh, you have to hit an, an initial gap or you could play the hyzer shot out. But yeah, I think the sidearm's the play here normally, but it's so windy that all the discs are just getting pushed over to the left there. Wow. That did not fly how you expected it. Uh, yep, yeah, I flipped mine up as well. That was a little miscue there, but I might get out there someplace. Couldn't really... Couldn't really tell from the camera angle. No, yeah, so like a right to left wind here? Yep. So we're going back the opposite way of hole two. So, um, yep. Big right to left. Nico looking like he's going to take the hyzer route, which is probably a smart play here. Yeah. Kind of play, play that wind. And the swing. Ooh, he plays a high. Kind of a more of a spike angle and just... I don't know if he clipped something hmm. there or he left it a little short. Philo taking the hyzer as well. Oh, uh, but he played a flat shot, kind of got over the top of that to make yeah. sure that it didn't drag, but then it, it just pushed out a little too straight. So he'll have a kind of a tricky putt there with the left to right tailwind. Yeah. Looks like you're up first with the second shot. It's a little forehand up action. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I was like, oh, there's one tree, you know. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you just find it every time. That's how it works. Whoa. Casey with a great bid. Mm-hmm. Nico, I think in this is about 40. Oh, right off the post. Man. Got the tough putt with the right to left. Yeah. Underneath the fern didn't help either. And Philo coming back after going long. Man, you can see the wind just beat that thing down and never had a chance. Nope. Philo's almost always Ooh. hit something. I stuck that one. <laughs> Some good want on that one. Yeah, I just try to get it in there as fast as possible when it's windy. Yeah, <laughs> I was talking to AJ about that. He's like, I just put harder. You know? <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I've seen guys that put a little slower and they have a little bit of wobble on their disc, and, it, uh -huh. and the wobble almost, you know, flattens it out. And that's never really worked for me. I just try to get it in as quick as possible and just get the moment over with before anything bad happens. I dig the plan, man. Get at least amount of time in the air. At least I'm on time to get blown around by the wind. Uh, looks like you're still leading the gang there with that 12 down. One down on the rounds. Uh, hole four is on deck, sir. Hole four. This is probably one of the most beautiful holes in disc golf that I've played. I just remember really enjoying this one. It's got a really sweet fairway. Good for the sidearm or maybe a, a long kind of drifting straight shot that turns over late you mm -hmm. see it from here there's just a nice defined gap up the middle and casey throws a really nice one maybe yeah beautiful looking drive here yeah this whole place uh, a good distance says 354 what are you pumping out here g i'm taking the scorpius here and just kind of trying to hang it just barely miss that tree that's oh, money perfect man Wow. Just a little short, but nice shot. I'm happy with that. Oh, yeah. Getting close is so important in this win, man. Neek's going with the destroyer sidearm. And it just bleeds on him. Probably about 45 footer, maybe. Yeah, not bad. Philo going boom with the... I think that's a rock. I think it's one of his Sad. DX rocks, yeah. Oh. Well, you can't pipe in any straighter than that. Not you just so much. didn't want to turn over. That tailwind kind of just held it straight and here's another long putt for philo mm. 
Maybe making up for the last hole with a, oh. how much you wanted that one. Oh, Nico. Nico, just short. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I love Nico's a Nico reaction. He's looking primal, man. He's looking primal. <laughs> the hair everywhere to her. Right. Casey. Casey with the, with the chain off there. That was just a little to the left. Never really penetrated the chain. And I snuck mine in there. I'm glad I didn't have much more distance on that putt. It was rising because of the tailwind. Oh! Gotcha. oh. You got to be kidding me, man. Ouch. Dead center. That was pretty perfect. Was uh, he... you was... want, you, it makes you wonder how a putt like that can come out of the basket. And right. Some of the other ones will stick. Yep. Disc golf, man. <laughs> Nico. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was real happy with that one. <laughs> Dude, dude's such a ham, man. I love it. <laughs> He's always entertaining, if nothing else, you know? It's not going to be boring. Certainly. Yeah. Uh, nice birdie by yourself, though. Not to be overlooked. Uh, taking that lead out pretty well. I think the five or something like that. Uh, speaking of five, hole five. Hole five. Says. Five hundo. Whoa. Whoa. Um, I don't remember this hole being 500 feet. I'm going to say it, it's not 500 feet. I don't think we flew that long. Um, we'll call that yeah. a typo. Yeah, I think that's a typo. I'd probably put this one at about. Let's see how hard I throw it. Oh, that looked terrible. Uh uh. Oh. oh. Yeah, I pulled that one just a little bit. <laughs> Not uh, maybe just a little more than a little bit. Not something to learn from. There you go. Casey with a nice smooth backhand. Come on back. Oh yeah. Wow. What a <laughs> shot. <laughs> Casey came to play, you guys. Five footer. Dang. Nico looks like he's maybe playing his Firebird. Something overstable. There it is. Come on back. Just thinking about it. A little bump out to the right there off the bottom of the palm, but that's in his range. Yeah, it looks like that left to right wind didn't really didn't want to let it fade back. Is this working for Philo? Philo looking ace run. Woo! Oh my. Nice shot. Just a little long. Yeah. Man, that was perfect that, that was, was such a good line sure was looks like you'll be up first i believe a little upshot action playing a little chip with the flick here just try to limit the damage and that looks pretty close yeah. probably like it to be a little closer with the wind but <laughs> within range you've been hitting those nico is about to have a conversation right now <laughs> <laughs> he's really all about that cage right now he needs to get off that cage life oh philo Sneaking it in the right side. That one hung on for him. Good birdie. That's, that's a good catch right there. And uh, Casey. Casey. Slow and steady, baby. Man. Just rolling. Really putting those drives close. Oh, yeah. That helps when it's windy, right? It's, yeah, it does. Oh, okay, sweet. Ten footer, no problem. Very important. A nice par save from yourself. Nico will be dropping in after the front rim banger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. He's like, up here, buddy. Up here. <laughs> Come on. Uh, looks like we got a three-way tie for a second there. Uh, you're in the lead, and we are going to be looking at hole six. So this hole is an interesting little hole, especially with the wind. So there is an island green on this one, and I think that we'll probably see it in, in this video here. There's a... Uh, Pretty sure there's some flags up there. Oh yeah. So you have to make the island, or else um, you putt from a drop zone. Okay. Well, Casey made the island. Well done by him. Philo with a turnover. The turnover. Oh, you didn't see it, but he, he. I think he clipped the tree in its OB. Oh my. I think it just touched it. Man. It just like clipped an ant on the side of the tree. I'm playing the flick here. Just try to play with the wind. That one got inbounds. That was, that's more than just inbounds. That's, mm -hmm. that's pretty parked, man. Well, shoot, I mean, six meters and you're LB on this one. So <laughs> this is not much room for error. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. So a little tight on that one, and it booted back out of bounds. Or no, it just it hit that tree just to the left of Philo there. Uh -huh. OB. Tragedy. Uh, Philo missed his par putt. Nico? 45-footer gets it. Up in the air this time. Nice putt. Wow. That there was a go. good one. 
he made sure the extra little moment of commitment on the putt there. He, he did. He wanted that one. Uh, Casey, after a great drive, drops in the birdie. You'll be doing the same in a hot second. Casey just doing his thing. He is. Oh, you can tell Philo's a little frustrated. He just can't catch a break right now. Just barely clip the tree, barely OB. Yep. It's Thailand, Philo. Be happy. Yeah, it's, you know, it's really, <laughs> really fun round you, no matter what. You know, we're out playing on an island. Pretty epic experience just to just to have got to that point. Yeah, man. You see those boats that are that are there. We take the boats from the boat bar in Bangrak. Uh-huh over to this island maybe about a 15 minute boat ride so pretty cool <laughs> dig it man looks like we're getting a little uh, little wooded action here yeah this is uh, i would say the the most uh wooded hole on the course or at least the line um and it's tucked up just just into these trees but it's not too far so i feel like the play here is yeah a nice hard flick shot mm-hmm Oh, trying to do some course maintenance there. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh-oh. So I'm just going to try to push it hard as far up there as I, as I can. You know, just try to penetrate the woods. And that one snuck through on the left side of the tree. Ooh, that was beautiful, man. Any, anything that just pushes up through there is, is just fine. Nico going to play the Annie backhand? Oh, no. Catches the, the one you've got to beat. That's that, the one to beat. It looked like it. A rare forehand from Philo. Good Philo. Oh, this is good. Styling. I, I, oh. I couldn't tell if it got caught up in the stuff there, but that was a really good line. Yeah, look, like it got eaten up a little bit there at the end. Uh, tough look for Casey out of the woods, but throws it pretty well. And Nico. Nico playing a little flick action up and catches a little shrubbery, but I think he's going to be able to finish that one off. Yeah. Now, Philo, probably just on edge of circle here. Chang, thank you. Come again. There's Philo. He's back. Yeah, that was a solid putt. It was. Nice straddle straddle stance, too. Yep. You know, that's a tough putt to make. You really got to. He's, he's got a good straddle putt. He does. Uh, it was another good hit from Casey. Saving okay. his par. Nico the same. Casey just, you know, d despite that last drive, he's just playing, you know, nice and steady. Yeah, super solid. Knocking down shots. And here you are. Change. Birdie. Another birdie, G. Those help. Yeah, man. Stacking them up. Those help, for sure. <laughs> Let's see what that leads at now. Looks like Casey's a 10 here at 15. Five-stroke lead. Doing work. Dig it, man. Four down through seven. Some very, very solid rounds. Trying to rack up as many as I can on, you know, as many birdies as possible. Make those highlights. Mm -hmm. Hole eight looks cool. This one's, um, I remember there was something interesting about this hole. It's a good hole. Huh? But um, maybe just not a super defined route. Kind of felt like they had to, they kind of had to stick this hole in. But short tee pad up here. Uh -huh. But very tricky with the wind off of the shelf because it's an elevated tee pad. Oh, sure. And you probably can't feel it up there, too. So you can really see anything that my disc did, but it got super <laughs> lucky, missed about 50 trees. It's somewhere out there, pin high. <laughs> really? Yeah. Cool. And Philo throws a much better shot, catches yeah. center cut tree. Oh. Not <laughs> just, uh, disc golfing for sure. That is how it works sometimes. Mm. Casey goes to the forehand, looks like he's left to right wind, and that thing just got blown yeah yeah he left the wing up just a little and saw it off pretty good and nico oh tasty look the wind you can see the wind just kind of dragging it over to the right but nice shot that's yeah. gonna give him inside the circle look that'll play so phyla up first with the second shots after that early tree Ooh, look at this oh wow great line good shot there yeah especially into the headwind looks like one of his champ rocks there and Casey from pin high left. Wow. <laughs> Almost cashes it from way downtown. Trying to use that headwind. So you're a little bit short left here, Greg? Yeah, maybe a little short left, but I couldn't putt it high enough. Yeah, tailwind just knocked it down. Nico just giving himself the... <laughs> 
giving himself the philosophical chatter. <laughs> oh, Milo. goodness. Getting, this Milo just can't catch a break right now. He just ca caught a ton of chains and it doesn't stick for him. No. Nico's in, Nico's in delirium, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> Something like that. Something's happening out there for him. He's ready to get back. <laughs> He's ready to get back. Get me off this island. <laughs> to the, I want to go back to the other island. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we're on an island off of an island. It, yeah. it doesn't suck. It's Islandception. <laughs> I think that's how that works. Uh, you got that four down round along with Casey. I uh, still got a five stroke lead over Mr. Hannemeyer and hole nine. Hole nine, 322. This one plays back to what the tournament central was. And this is a really nice hole, but tricky into the headwind. Uh, a couple different ways to approach this hole. Um, most of the guys would typically take uh, the hyzer approach. Okay. So you got that lined up as well? Yeah, I can't remember what happened here. Yeah, I think I just kind of sawed it off a little bit. A little long. I threw it I threw it hard. Yeah. But, um, the wind got a hold of it. I'll have a whatever, 45-footer or so. Yeah, not, not trouble, though. No, I'm out. Of, I'm, I'm safe. I'm on the green there. Yep. Uh, Casey. Oh, Casey catches yeah. tree. There oh. is trouble. Nico going flick. Good line. Ooh, that's flexed. Oh, boy. Well, it looks like he parked it. Got the clap. Yeah. Right on line, but might, maybe a little short, but hopefully closer Hello. than it looks. Uh oh. Where's that going? I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't think that hyzer back in that left or right. So he just kept hanging out there. Casey with the forehand up, trying to save par. But that's a good camera angle. That thing was going right at the basket. What a shot. This must be Philo. Yeah, Philo obviously hit that tree and drop, but yeah. it's easy to chip up and down. Mm -hmm. and here you are with your look for the two. Oh, and it rolls. I'm so distraught. I'm... <laughs> I have something to say about that. I don't know what I said. I really don't. But. That was a great bid, though, man. <laughs> I thought I, I think I made it. I, I figured I made it. Yeah, it looks like it's going in. Nico won the championship <laughs> of the island. <laughs> made a putt. <laughs> uh, I think that finally puts a bit under on the round. I don't have a good feeling about this. Oh, wow. It How worked. did that go in? It worked, though. It did, somehow. Yep. And Casey just doing Casey things, dropping in. Right, yeah, nothing, you know, on the surface, nothing special from Casey, but a really solid nine holes. Yeah, Put great. himself in good position. And great drives and, and great up shots when he did have a great drive. Philo. Philo tapping out. Mm -hmm. A little rough play. nine holes for Philo. I would expect he's going to play this nine again a little bit better next time. Yeah, he'll, he's good. That He'll, he'll clean that up. So let's check out our scores after nine. Yep, Nico getting a one down on the round. You and Casey with the four. Philo, the uncharacteristic over par. I got a five-stroke lead going into part two. And we'll catch you guys there. Thanks for watching.